Cello Adventure. Today I'm going to show you all the other locations of the tack chest in Ranch of Riverside. So we've got three in Pine Forest, three in Crystal Lake, three in Lee Pine Meadow, and then three in the town itself. Now I've already discovered those, but I can show you where they're at. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, so if you go so if you go directly behind Liam's house, that will lead you to the first location. Now, I've already found that location, um, and it was a black fluffy hall. It was a black halter, black leather halter. Um, so each tack box will give you the same item on each save. They don't rotate; they're not random. Um, little buttons. So if you go to Liam's. So if you go to Liam's and go directly behind it, there is a little island just behind his house. And that is where the first chest will be. Now I've already found that chest, so I can only show you where it is. <laughs> um, but I will show you where the other two are. So here's that little island directly behind his house. You avoid these jumps right here. It would be right here is where it is, right between these two sets of trees. So if you look at the map, you can barely, barely see it's right here. So here's where the statue is, and then you would just go northeast, I'm guessing, better directions. And that is where it would be in this little lake, in the middle of this little island here. Alright, so we're going to go and find the other one. And I use the statue to orient myself as to where they are. There's one directly behind the statue. As soon as I find the statue, but that's my own statue's over here. <laughs> so it's directly, if you remember, almost directly behind it, there's another ridge that has a stone enclosure. That's where the third one is, and it's kind of pushed up against a wall, and it blends in really good with the wall. And it made it really hard to hear, really hard to see, because I went past it like 20 times. Never even noticed it was there. Okay, so here is the statue. It's so lost. I think it's right here. No, no, no. It's ah, it's right here. This is where it is. So it's off to my right. If my head wasn't attached, I'd lose it. <laughs> so I hope everybody has been having a lovely day. This is where it is. This. Way. I knew when all the lights were there, I should have gone up there. I hope everybody's having a lovely day or evening when you're watching this. And it is right, I'm going to come around and do a circle like it's a round pin. And it is right there. Boom. So if you look on the map, here is the statue. And it's, whoops. Here is the statue, and it's right here, pushed up against the furthest wall. So if you're coming from this direction and you ride in, it should be directly in front of you. And I'm just going to leave it there for now, but you get, um, I believe you get a black endurance saddle. So Pine Forest, you get the black leather hackamore in the first one, and the black endurance saddle in this one, and then the next one will be black leather boots. All right. So we will go find the other one. Now the third one 
is in a spot where a lot of the times the wild horses will spawn. It's up on that ridge that's almost directly in line with the um, wild horse pen. So if we use that as our orient, I think this is the statue. I want to use the statue to orient myself. Yep, statue. So there's the wild horse pen. So if we make like we're coming from the wild horse pen to round up some more horses, it would make it makes it easier for me to remember where it is. So all right, we've put our wild horse in, and then we're going right up over here through these trees. And it's also at the back of this ridge, and it's tucked in some trees. So I'm gonna go up this way. Uh, it's right back in here. See what I mean about them blending in if you're... there it is. So if you're not expecting it, you just ride right past it because all the bushes are around it and stuff. So those are the three locations of the chest. So, and we are right here. So here is the statue and here is the wild horse pen. So it's almost a straight shot. You're going to cross two little rivers here. And then the third one is, I think it was right here. So this is the third one, or the second one, third one, you can number them. However, so this is one where the Black Endurance Saddle is. This one is the um, Black Boots. And then this one right here on this little island is the first one. Oops, and I don't want to do that. I want to do this. And I'm going to leave them just in case I need to do something else with them. So now we are going to go to town and I will show you where those are and then we'll go to the other areas. And everybody stay warm in this wild winter weather, winter weather we're having because some areas are getting feet of snow, some areas are getting inches. We're getting lots of cold, wet rain, nasty cold weather. So. There's a threat of snow in our area, but not not likely. It's always possible, but in this area, highly doubtful. So wherever you are, stay safe. Watch out for those driving conditions, because it's icky out. Okay, so first thing, in no particular order, this bridge. Now, I've already found all these, I think. This bridge, right in between these two rocks, underneath the bridge, is the first location. And then the next location that I know of, and I'm not going in any order, like I said, is back behind one of the houses. Not this one. This is the tack, tack owner shop, or tack shop owner's house. But this abandoned one, right up in here. Right in this corner will be where the, the next chest is. Right in the corner there. And then the other one, or the last one for this area, is down at Rivers, in one of, across from one of her horse stalls. Is just coming out. He was visiting River. There goes my dogs. So if you walk into her stable, it would be this last stall right there. That would be right in there, and that stall would be where you'll find the the last chest. All right, excuse me, kids. Gotta go. See ya. Nice seeing ya. So then that is all the chests for the town. Now we're gonna do Crystal Lake. Crystal Lake for me was the was the hardest. I could not find, the only time I found a chest was, was during a race. And of course, I didn't wanna stop. I shouldn't, I didn't wanna stop because I'd get kicked out 
and I wouldn't be able to find it again because I had no clue where the um, where the uh, chests were in the race, uh, where the race was actually. Okay, so in Crystal Lake, you're going to get the blue square saddle pad, the blue polo wraps, which I, I was looking for earlier, and you're going to get a white unicorn horn to put on any of your horses. And that one is the hardest one. Okay, so the one I was always seeing in um, the race was where you start the race almost uh, directly like next to the jumping arena so it's directly ahead of us so let's go find that because I think they start you in the Crystal Lake uh, race like right around in here somewhere and then you go over this bridge and I want to say it's yeah it's this island right up here it's directly across from it so you go over the bridge because I would always run right past and I was like, oh my god. Um, so you go over that bridge and it should be like right in here, I believe. I don't know, have I found any of these? I haven't found any of these chests, so I should be able to see them. Okay. So I'm blind. It's this bridge. It's this area. I'm on the wrong side of the bridge. It's right over here. <laughs> Don't take me with you when you go on a trip. <laughs> so where do I need to go? I need to go. I need to go over this way. So it should be right here. I'm looking at the map right. So we gotta go one more island. Let me make sure I'm going right. Nope, I'm still not going the right way. <laughs> oh my god, it's a good thing that I am not given directions for my life. Here it is. Here's the first chest in the Crystal Lake. So there's the riding arena. So I guess you would say it is, so this is the entrance. So if you come down, you're gonna pass the riding arena. It's directly behind the riding arena. My apologies. Um, I am directionally challenged, not always, but I am. So there is the first one, and let me find the second one. So the second one should be where the wild horse area is. So I've got this bridge, come down this path, and it should be right here at the bottom of the waterfall. So we're going to try and find that. I have a feeling I'm going the wrong way again. It should be this way. Oh my goodness. I will do my best <laughs> to not lead you guys astray. Okay, let me make sure I'm going the right way. Yep, going the right way. Okay. And we took our dog to the, we had our dog taken to the groomers yesterday. She's a little half Pomeranian, half husky. She's a Pomsky. She came back looking so pretty. Oh my goodness. She is a little tomboy and man, she just was rough looking. So here is the third chest at the base of this waterfall. So on the map again, this is the wild horse pen. Here is the arena. It's directly here, right behind it. And then the third one I think is somewhere over in here. But I'm not going to swear to it. Um, actually, no. This is, the other one is is actually over here somewhere. But let me check. Ma. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so the third one is going to be right in here. You see where it says go go to entrance. It's going to be like right in here. You see where this road goes here, and then this road goes right here. 
it's right in here. And if I can, I will try and include some of these maps. But again, this was done by um, a very lovely person in the um, in our, the Rancho River Train Discord, along with the help of a bunch of people in the Discord helping pin pinpoint all these um, locations. <clears throat> so it wasn't a one person or even a two person thing. It was a group, huge group effort. Let me see here. Oops. I really regret putting down all these jumps. Seriously, really regret it. Okay, so, oh, I need to go back this way. Oh, I can go around. It's right, so the statue is right here. It's directly behind the statue. If you can see, it's right in here. So I need to go this way. Okay, here is the wild horse pen. Oops, I don't want to gallop. And I think the statue is over here. Yep, there's the statue. So I think it should be, if we follow this path. Yep, here it is, nestled in these trees right here, right next to the crooks. And put it on alt. So you can see where that bridge is. The statue is directly right there. You see where this path is. These are the trees. So those are the three chests in the Ranch of Rivershine. And now I'm gonna show you Lupine Meadow. And again, you notice I'm not taking them up, I, and just in case I need them for something else. <laughs> I have them all taken up on my other two saves, so I couldn't tell you where they are. So we're gonna go to Lupine Meadow now, and we'll find those chests because I haven't picked. I think I may have found one, the easiest one to find. Um, now the Lupine Meadow one, I know <laughs> where all the chests are by heart. I don't even have to look at the map. Promise. <laughs> those I won't get you lost, except at one point. I know where it is. It's just getting to it. That's a little rough. go to the Lupine Meadow. But anyway, back to my dog. She came back just silky smooth. She had knots everywhere and she needed a butt trim. Her fur was too big and it was collecting some stuff, shall we say. But she came back smelling sweet, clean. She'd had a bath. She had her nails done. She had a spa day. And she's not a trusting dog. She is very wary and very scared of people. So I was so happy that the lady was able to do all of this stuff with her. Because she's a bit of a handful for a 10 pound dog. But she is, uh, we named her Ariel, and she's a little Pomsky, and she is bright red with some tan on her. So this is the location of the first chest. The, not the easiest one for me to find. The only thing I have a problem with is actually getting to the center. As you can see, I am just, I have, I have, navigating puzzles is a little difficult for me, but it's at the center of the maze. Let's just put it that way. It's at the center of the hedge maze. I will get there, I promise. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay. All right, so I took the wrong entrance. <gasps> oh, it might be one of these other entrances back here. Come on, girl. I thought it was that one. I must have missed something. There are way too many entrances. In this. Eloise, you did a great job on these things because they mystify me all the time. Ah, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's easy when you don't think about it. Okay, so here we are, and it's right there. Hot damn. Right, excuse my thing, 
right there next to the fountain. Voila. Now, the easiest one to find after I get out of this hedge maze. Getting out is a little bit easier than getting in. challenged. I know there's multiple entrances and exits to this thing. Okay, so here's here's our exit. <laughs> so if we go to where the speed track is and then go next to it, there's this beautiful gazebo. That is where another chest is. So, and it's right in the middle of the gazebo, so you basically get up. Oh, they can. There it is. Voila. And the last chest is a little trickier to find. Look at my map. Where are we? Ah, okay, so the last chest is right here. So you see where the covered bridge is. So actually, you know, here's the gazebo. And if you go up to where it just starts to go up to another hill, where this fence begins, it's right in here. Right in here where the fence is. It's just a matter of, can I remember that? Um, I think it's this way. I've been wrong before. But I think it's this one. Okay, so here's the fence line. And if you come up this little hill and go left, there it is, right there in the center. So right in between these trees, the covered bridge is right there in the distance. Let me get a little closer. Oh. <laughs> there is. There we go. There's the covered bridge in the distance. And that is where all the chests are. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And along with my other videos. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye now.